Well, hey, y'all. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> okay, excuse the hair because I am sweating and I will show y'all what I'm doing today. Y'all, this fireplace is not going to clean itself. Yeah, I've done the prettiest heavy part, okay? So, today's clip is all about cleaning that fireplace out at the end of the season. Welcome to our channel. My name is Tracy. I'm the keeper of the home here at 4D Farms, where we are all about home, family, and living this life that God has so graciously blessed us with. Our channel is full of content that I hope encourages you, inspires you, and most of all, helps you on your journey. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you will get notified every time new content is uploaded. We hope to see you in each and every video. <laughs> so today, this is what I've done so far. And this is why my hair looks frazzled and like a little wet poodle. And, oh, yeah, I got sweat in my eyes, okay? It's starting to get into the temperatures of early spring, according to the temperatures. But I'm not going to be fooled by that. <laughs> because, y'all, sometimes in the south, we have had winter storms as late as late April. Yeah, we did one year. So I'm not going to let that, you know, frazzle me any. I'm just going to keep on watching the weather every day. But at the end of the season, after winter time is gone, this is a job that has to be done. Your fireplace needs to stay safe okay, and clean at least once a year, y'all. If I don't do it in the spring when I get ready to pack up the fireplace, I will do this right before we start using the fireplace when the temperatures start dropping, okay? So, I have already got all the ashes out, took the, put them in a pail, took them outside, through the spreaded them out in my garden, okay, to give it some of that. Y'all, wood ash is perfect in a garden, okay? It acts as a natural fertilizer, okay? And bug repellent, okay? Squash bugs, things like that. Save your wood ashes, y'all. Put them in a back, of course, cool, cold, no hot wood ashes, Okay, no hot ashes, no hot little burning coals. Let them cool off, get cold, sweep them out. And you can either just, through the winter time, dump them out in your garden, spread them out. Okay, during the winter. When you clean out your fireplace that last time to get ready for spring, save your wood ashes and put them in a feed bag like a chicken feed bag, cow feed bag, uh, dog food bag, uh, buckets, pails, tubs, anything. You can use that during the summer months, squash bugs, cucumber beetles, stuff like that. <coughs> Dust. Hates wood ashes. You can use it as a natural bug repellent. I've heard of some people taking wood ash and mixing it in really good with water. Of course, it would have to be sifted through and don't get chunks of wood in there and put it in um, jug sprayers and spray on the plants liberally to ward off insects. Y'all, old timers use wood ash to make lye soap. I'm no stranger to lye soap. This will tell you how old I am. I'm no stranger to outhouses, and I'm no stranger to using lye soap and taking a bath in a big old wash tub. Yes, my grandmother. Yes, okay, big old wash tub. And then, you know, when plumbing and all such as that, you know, came along, um, yeah, lye soap. Y'all, lye soap, if it's done right, is the cleanest, purest, most, what's the word I'm looking for? That gets your clothes clean. It takes out grease out of clothes, like mechanics, things like that. Y'all, 
This stuff will get your clothes clean. I have graded up my grandmother bars of lye soap into the washing machine. Yeah, y'all, your clothes come out. There's no need for fabric softener, not even when you put them in the dryer. No need for fabric sheets. My grandmother would grate a bar of lye soap or some lye soap, about a cup, three quarters of a cup, and throw it in that washing machine with the clothes. There was no armpit stains, no sweat stains, no grease stains, nothing, y'all. Lye soap. Save you wood ashes. Learn how to make you some lye soap like the old timers, okay? But getting back to the fireplace. Save those wood ashes. There's so many uses for wood ashes. I just gave you two or three right there, okay? So all winter long, when we emptied out the fireplace, we would spread the wood ashes into our garden. Okay, um, then, oh, y'all, that my nose is getting stopped up because of the wood ashes. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to sneeze, okay? I have gotten all the wood ashes out, spread them out in the garden, okay? Then, I usually, I take all my panels out, but this time, I'm not going to. I am just scrubbing down the walls real good. And washing them real good, washing my glass real good, trying to get all the soot off the glass. Um, my husband, when we get ready to use it in the fall of this year, he will get on the roof and use a uh, flute cleaner and run down the pipe and clean the flute with it, okay? To get, get all the soot out. Um, when you get accumulated soot, in your flute, y'all, that's what causes chimney fires. You have, you need to clean your fireplace flute out on your chimney at least once a year, y'all. That's what's been causing some house fires. If y'all have wood burning stoves, please keep those pipes clean, okay? We had some uh, people a few years ago, their wood burning stove, their pipes were full of soot and Y'all, it caught their house on fire. They almost lost their whole house. Keep it clean, y'all. So we keep our fireplace clean. We either do it before we get ready to use it the next season, or we do it when we're closing it up for the, the summer, okay, the spring. So right now, I've just got the ashes out of here. I'm wiping down the walls, I'm wiping down the doors. I have vacuumed everything out. I'm cleaning down in here. I have cleaned my, my, what do you call this? Whatever, I've cleaned this, okay? So y'all, keep your fireplaces clean. I mean, it's not gonna clean itself. I've got the wood bin outside. I've got the grate here, the protection, you know, so it doesn't, sparks don't fly or, or sends out little um, sparks of wood and catchy carpet on fire, okay? Uh, I'm cleaning that. I'm cleaning the metal grate that goes down in here. I'm packing all this stuff up for the winter. So y'all, keep your fireplaces clean. This is something that needs to be done at least once a year, okay? For fireplace maintenance and for safety reasons, we keep a fire extinguisher right beside our fireplace at all times. We keep it right there, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. So just remember, either before you use your fireplace for the next season, get up there, clean your chimney out, or hire somebody to do it. They have tools you can do it. If you wanna, if you are young enough to climb up on your roof, okay? Clean that chimney out, clean your pipe out, your fluke out, whatever. Ours is not a chimney except for when it gets up there on the top of the house, and then it's a fluke, okay? So, my husband does that. I don't climb, okay? My husband does that. I'm responsible for the inside, okay? He gets it all down, brushes it all down into here, and then I vacuum it out. Then we're ready to use it for the season. When I close it up, I'm cleaning all the inside. That's all we do, y'all. Safety reasons, fireproof reasons, okay? We keep a shop vac beside the mantle during the winter at all times. But just to recap, y'all, do this once a year for safety reasons and save your wood ashes. And Google, um, 
be, um, uses for wood ash. I just gave you some. So ours has been spread out in the garden all winter. So there you go. There's you a good cleaning tip. Okay. See y'all in the next video.